In this video, we are going over soccer dribbling skills tutorial for beginners. I'm going to be going over the basics of dribbling, how to dribble, and then I'm going to give you some drills that you can do slowly at first and then get faster at over time that are going to help you become a much better dribbler. That's coming up next. Guys, welcome to Simply Soccer. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon because on this channel, we're helping you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. Also, like that commercial suggestion, make sure you download my free ebook, Game Changer, and get my free soccer gear guide by going to the link down below. Let's get into the video. First thing I wanna mention, guys, when it comes to dribbling is you wanna get used to dribbling with the outside or top of your foot. This is going to be the technique you use in order to dribble at speed. A lot of players in the beginning, especially beginners, will use the inside of their foot more naturally, but that is going to slow you down. Now, it's not that you won't use the inside of your foot at all while you dribble. Um, you might use it in different um, points when you're slowing down, using different moves, maybe teasing a defender, but you will not be using that when you're dribbling at speed. When you're dribbling at speed, you need to be using the outside of your foot. A drill you can practice in order to get good at this is just called gate dribbling. And you can also just practice dribbling with the outside of your foot from one cone to another. But this, in this drill, we'll have a few gates that also make you change direction slightly where you're gonna dribble with the outside of both your right and your left. Now you may see me doing it fairly quickly here, um, and I'm not doing it like a beginner here, but for you beginners, just do it very slowly at first. Focus on technique and control always before speed, and then once you get better, you can speed it up. Like I also said, one thing you can do is just have a cone 20 yards or so away from you and practice dribbling with the outside of your foot to that cone and back, rounding the cone as you get to each cone. And you can just do a few sets of this. And again, each time you do the drill, just try and do it a little bit faster, but while in control of the ball. Again, if you're trying to do this too fast and you're losing control over and over and over again, then it isn't going to be helpful. So you need to do this very slow at first, get your technique down, ha have control over the ball, and then you can move on to going faster like you may see me doing. Once you've gotten good at using the outside of your foot to dribble and you're able to go a little bit faster, what you want to get good at now is being able to change speeds in football because you're never gonna be going one speed. And if you're dribbling at one speed all of the time, you're gonna be very predictable. And so I'm gonna give you a drill that's going to help you with um, changing speed and it's called suicide turns and it's like the famous fitness drill suicides where you go to the line and back then to the next line and back and so on except you'll be dribbling with a ball now again like in the other drills you're gonna go very slow at first where I want you just to go as fast as you can while maintaining control and then you can just try and do this faster and faster each time but again the idea is you go dribble to one cone you turn back the other way, go to another cone, you turn back the other way, and you go through all the cones like that. And this is going to help you cut and turn and pivot and change speeds and direction, um, which is an incredibly important skill when it comes to dribbling. Another great drill for this, I just call the Brazilian box. And the reason I like this is because I think this one's a little easier, but it also helps you change from a slow to a fast paced back to a slow. Being able to decelerate and accelerate with the ball is an incredibly important skill when it comes to dribbling. So for this one, you're gonna start by taking very quick touches. Again, you do this to the ability you're at now. You don't have to worry about doing it as fast as I am doing it here. You just do it to the best of your ability now, and then you work your way up. So you take slight little touches on the ball with the outside of your foot to one cone, and then once you turn that cone, you sprint with the ball in control, so go as fast as you can while in control, and then you go back to slow, and then you go back to fast. Now you can make this box bigger, I wouldn't make it much smaller, um, but you can make it bigger if you want to give yourself more distance, which just gives you more touches on the ball, more opportunities to dribble. But this is another great change of speed drill that's going to help your dribbling immensely. Again, Again, for you beginners, which this video is for, go very slow at first. I know you're not gonna be going the speed I'm going in this video, and that's fine. You can just take small touches, go slow, go as fast as you can while maintaining control. That's the key phrase here. Go as fast as you can while maintaining control. One last drill I wanna give you, I just call zigzag. 
And this drill is another great drill for changing um, speed and also turning. So for this one, you're going to set the cones up in a formation like you see here and you're going to dribble towards one uh, cone, go around it, which is another important skill in football, being able to slow yourself down and kind of cut and turn, and then go to the next cone. You're going to repeat this and then finally dribble out to the last cone with speed. Again, this is going to improve your ability to dribble with speed, but also to decelerate when you need to decelerate because there are going to be many moments where you're dribbling fast and you need to cut the ball in a different direction or, or cut it back and change speeds. And if you can only go 100 miles per hour without being able to slow down effectively and cut, it's not going to be very helpful. So this is another drill that you can work on. Again, like I've been saying, at a very slow pace, you do not need to go as fast as I'm going here. You do not need to do that. You go at your own pace for whatever level you're at now. So again, if you're very new to this, go very, very slow. Be very methodical about it. Be very deliberate about it and then get faster each and every time. That is how you improve repetition, repetition, doing that over and over again, doing these drills over and over again. Okay guys, question of the day is how good is your dribbling on a scale of one to 10? And based on that rating, what are you going to do in order to improve it? Are you going to do some of the drills I gave you? Maybe put them into a training plan. Do you have some other things you want to do? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys so much for tuning into this video. Again, if you haven't already, get my free ebook, Game Changer, 100% free, and also get my gear guide, which is also free, down below in the description. There's links for both of those things. I want to make sure you're getting those free resources because they're just going to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you check out the other two videos on screen that I've put there to help you improve even more, and I will see you in the next video.